How's it going guys? It's the Peruvian Trucker back with another video. And I gotta be honest guys, this video is gonna go raw. Um, I've been driving for eight hours nonstop. And while I'm driving, I think about a lot of things that I want to talk about. Um, but, you know, the moment I stop, I blank out. And I, I'll still... I'll still get all excited and stuttery and my accent will come off and I'll blank so I'm just gonna make this video raw um, for anyone that appreciates uh, the authenticity of, that of, my, of me I, I don't even know uh, but I want to start with um, of course wishing everybody a happy new year it's you know 2024 we made it through 2023 um, and I hope that everyone that watches um, had a good 2023 and I hope that you have an even better 2024 um, and yeah and of course I want to thank everyone that watches this video or any of my other videos for uh, for that matter um, I don't think that I am nearly as interesting as other people or I just don't think that I'm interesting really but um, I have things that I want to say and I try to be as engaging um, as I can and um, I appreciate anyone that appreciates any video that I put out. Um, and yeah, um, I still don't know my format or how I make my videos. If you watched my last video, the Christmas special video, the one in which I just like went camping, uh, I like sharing those things because it is part of what trucking provides for me. Um, but it's not trucking related so I don't know some people may like that some people might not but you know I make these videos because I like making them I don't make them uh, to make money um, which some people might not believe that but trust me if I made videos to make money you know, if I made the videos to make money I would make something other than that because I'll be happier watching a movie or playing video games or just eating in the back not worrying about making videos uh, which it's also a shame because uh, uh, I, w I wish I didn't have to worry about making videos but I do because there are some comments that you know there are some people like old Chinese man uh, that will comment asking for another video and I, f and I feel pressured to satisfy that because I like engaging or you know with other people but anyway I digress I'm getting off topic uh, every so often I will make a video in which I update you guys in what's going on with my life trucking in general uh, so this is that video I mean we're starting 2024 I think it's a good opportunity to update you guys on how my 2023 went uh, in some of in some important aspects and I'll talk a little bit about goals because in one some way this will hold me accountable and accountability is always important so we're gonna talk about I guess financial updates and goals personal updates and goals mental updates and goals um, and I'm going to start with the mental ones because I know that probably everybody wants just to hear the financial stuff. Or you're going to have to wait. Um, oh, and then we're going to just talk specifically about YouTube and what's going to happen with my channel or my videos going forward. That will be the last thing. So, mental. Why, why do I want to talk about mental stuff? Because, uh, actually, before we talk about the mental stuff, 
it is important to say that uh, I still love trucking. I, I love this job. Like, like words cannot express. It's been two years. I started my journey in 2022, January. Really uh, a year and a half that I've been on my lease. And I've loved every second of it. I mean, okay, let me take that back. There are moments in which uh, things are not as glamorous, like getting backed into or um, hitting a deer or a blowout. Um, but because that's part of the experience, it's part of the job, I've mentioned this before, I can't base my trucking experience or I can't I can't define my trucking experience or this job by those things which really are not even 5% of the job itself. Um, yes, they are not great when it happen when, when they happen, but because they are part of the job, I take them as they come and I still love trucking wholeheartedly because of all the blessings that it has brought to my life, all the friendships that I've made, all the financial gains that it's provided, the personal as well, all the time that I get on this driver's seat, reinforcing my values, planning ahead, thinking about my goals, um, thinking about the past, all of that stuff. It's like, I mean, I can't, I, I, I can't put a price on that, really. Um, uh, and and even if I didn't pay off, even if I didn't have the financial stuff, just like being on this driver's seat, the enjoyment that I get out of it, plus the the ability to just think about stuff and plan ahead, those two things alone that I didn't get uh, any of the other jobs that I had because I got I was consumed by 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 those things by the jobs or. That alone is, is great. Um, but anyway, I digress again. Uh, so now that that's out of the way, uh, back to updates and goals. So I really don't know how to tackle this, guys. Like, I guess uh, in my personal, well, actually, I'm going to start with the physical stuff, I guess. And that's because um, mid-September, I really focused on exercising. Um, I made a series of videos, if you watch them, which were the workout series, uh, in which I was preparing for the winter and exercising in the truck. Well, realistically, I only exercised consistently for about six weeks end of September and all of October. November, I was getting ready to go home, so I just started looking into other stuff and I used my time for other things. And, uh, well, I'm happy to say that in those six weeks that I, you know, watched what I was eating and focused on exercising, I gained 10 pounds. Um, I've, and, um, I found this out when I went home for Thanksgiving and I went for my DOT physical and it was it's the first time in my life that I've been over 155 pounds in weight. I was at 165 and I actually thought that, um, again, I haven't exercised since like the first week of November um, and I thought that between then and now. I was going to lose my gains because I haven't really been exercising, but I went to the doctor in, what was it, December 27th because of a medical issue that I've developed that I'll probably talk about in some other video. And I'm still at 164 pounds, so um, that's good. That's good. Uh, uh, I'm going to try to work out at least to maintain that. Um, going forward, but that was great. That was great. So those are my uh, physical 
updates and goals, I guess. Um, when it comes to mental and personal, um, well, personal goals, um, as you know, I cleared my debt, over $25,000 uh, in 2022, on top of all the great things that I did. I went to Costa Rica, I, uh, I spent Thanksgiving at home, Christmas at home, uh, and I still managed to clear all that debt. And that, in, that alone, that by itself, should be a testament of the potential that trucking and trucking at prime as a lease operator uh, has financially. Um, but I'll talk about that when I talk about finances or financial goals. Um, but also, I, I'm, I'm getting the, the personal and the mental updates together because I dwelled a lot about being home for uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas. I really was debating whether I should do that or not because I have goals that I want to accomplish in 2024 um, and being home in 2023 was going to delay some of those goals and I was dwelling constantly what was more important, you know, being home with my family in 2023 or, you know, putting in the sacrifice and not being home with my family for Thanksgiving or Christmas uh, with because of the potential blessings that accomplishing those goals sooner could provide for my family, for me and my family. Uh, mainly for me, <laughs> but also for my family. Uh, but of course, if you've followed me on YouTube, uh, I've been posting, uh, and, and the stuff that I've been posting, I decided to just go home and delay some of those goals. Um, so, uh, I guess the update is that I went home. I've really, honestly, uh, I've, I've taken... I want to say over three months off in 2023 and I'm not happy about that I'm not I can't say that I'm not proud like I mean like it's not that I'm not happy like I mean I did it I had a good time but in and in the big scheme of things it's not a big deal I still accomplished goals but um, and, and I accept the consequences of that, but um, but it, it, it does delay some of the goals that I have for 2024. So um, it's not that I'm not happy. Uh, I just did what I decided to do in that moment and I accept the consequences because I did have a great time every time that I was home. Um, but... Uh, but leading up to going home, I was getting anxious because, again, those goals. Um, but yeah, take that information and make with it what you want. Comment below. Um, I'll talk about it in more detail in a following video when it comes to like uh, home time and dealing with family. Like having a family while on the road. I'm going to make a video about that. Um, <sighs> And that's the update, <laughs> but but that's the the personal and mental update, I guess. The personal and mental goals for 2024 are two, and I've mentioned them. I mentioned them on the Thanksgiving video, and I've mentioned them in the past. I only have two. The first one, and I, that I will accomplish in 2024. The first one that I will accomplish in 2024 is to buy a house, and I say to buy a house, but really it is to be able to buy property. And the more I think about it, the goal is not to buy it, is to save the money to be in a position to where, the, to when, it's to save the money so that when the opportunity rolls along, I can just make the move without any issues. Um, if uh, the housing market is not good or if I don't find a deal that works for my goals long term, I'll probably just continue to save money. 
but the goal for 2024 is to at least have that money available. It really is to go for like June, July 2024. Um, but I'm going to give myself the entire year. And the second goal, which I mentioned on my Thanksgiving video, is to bring my family over for Christmas uh, 2024. Uh, really, four to five family members, and I mean paying for their tickets and housing them uh, here. And of course, taking the time off um, for Christmas and New Year's. Um, if I can bring them for a month, take the month off. Which means, I mean, uh, being financially prepared for that on top of uh, the house stuff. I'm not going to mess with that. Uh, and because of me being home for Christmas and New Year's and Thanksgiving in 2023, I may have to delay that goal or push it to 2025. I'm still going to try. I'm still going to save as much money as I can. Uh, clearing my debt in 2023 is certainly going to help. Uh, but if I have to push that to 2025, maybe to when I end my lease and I have no, no lease payment or Christmas. I really wanted to do it for Christmas. Uh, because it's a, it's a meaningful date. Um, not only because it's the holidays, but also because my grandma passed away in December 27, 2022. So it would be nice for all of the family to be together uh, for that as well in, as part of the season. Not celebration because we're not going to celebrate her passing, but you know, like us being together as a family for the first time in God knows how long. Um, so we'll see, we'll see. Uh, that's still on the table, but it's it's taking a back seat. Um, and those are the goals for 2024. And with that, we're gonna move to finances. You know, financial updates. Uh, I've mentioned this multiple times, and I and I've brought it up. I I cleared my debt in 2023, over $25,000. Uh, this has lowered my expenses, my monthly expenses, my personal monthly expenses, to about $2,000 a month, uh, which means that I only need one good week a month to cover all of my expenses. Everything else is savings, working towards my financial goals, uh, buying my house, bringing my family, etc. Um, which, in and of itself, should tell you how much money <laughs> I, I kind of make. Uh, but that's for you to figure out. Uh, and uh, and that's pretty much the financial stuff, really. Like, I mean, my goal for 2022 was, sorry, for 2023 was to be debt free. Uh, what else financially? I mean, I really think that's it financially. Just like, I mean, that was the one goal that I had to clear my debt. And I did that by Thanksgiving. So I celebrated with my family when I went home. Um, and um, I mean, another financial update. Yeah, I guess. I mean, if it matters to anyone, like I mentioned, I've, uh, I've been, uh, I've, I've pretty much taken three months off in 2023 um, and still managed to pay off all my debt and uh, go to Costa Rica and buy a roof tent and uh, buy a drone and, um, you know, spend a bunch of money at home with the family. I wasn't happy about that. Okay, again, it's hard to dwell on, I dwell on these things, guys, like, I had the best time with my family, but I'm looking ahead, you know, I've been in debt for so long, when I was, before I was in trucking, like, you know, understand? like, my lifestyle really consisted on uh, be, living paycheck to paycheck, putting, my, putting money on cars, paying off student loans, and then, you know, um, you know, go, doing things with uh, my girlfriend at the time. So, um, 
not really saving towards the future. That's what I'm trying to say. So now that I'm in this position with trucking, th that again provides so much for me. Um, um, I don't regret spending money. I don't regret doing the things that I do. But there's always a little bit of a voice in the back of my th my head that it's weary of me regressing to my old paycheck to paycheck tendencies. Um, so, um, it goes back to me being me going home for Thanksgiving and Christmas. Like, I, I just me dwelling about if it's the right thing to do. Once I made that decision, once I was there, you know, uh, <laughs> I enjoyed it and I had a great time. And you can do the math. Again, that with uh, my monthly expenses, with the time that I took off, with the things that I bought, is a testament to what this job can provide. Um, and I'm going to leave it at that when it comes to finances. If you have any questions or if you want me to talk about other stuff, um, I really don't talk about like numbers, like, like I'm not going to show my pay stub because there's multiple channels that can do that. If you want to know, if you want to see someone, my, like a pay stub, you can find that somewhere else. Um, I don't do it because, um, I would love to, like, I mean, like, like there's no secret to what you can make in trucking, I guess. Uh, if you're, if you can qualify to get a CDL and you can do the job. You can see, you can find out for yourself. But uh, I do have some family, and I wish, I wish that we were in a um, in a society that doesn't like just judge people based on what they make. Um, but unfortunately, we are. When I make it public like that, and people that I know can see that, uh, unfortunately, um, I mean, I wish. I guess that that, that I, I guess that that. It is a testament to some friendships, uh, being able to talk openly, being able to talk openly about how much you make, uh, without fear of prejudice or judgment. Uh, but I'm not there yet. So when I'm there, maybe I'll talk about it on YouTube. But until then, no. Um, sorry, not sorry. Um, and of course, also like I mean, people that watch the videos, they tend to attach their own personal goals or priorities or th or thoughts like I don't live my life like I don't live my life or make my videos based on that I make that based on myself and what I want to share and I what I want to make and it's all positive so uh, yeah that's that uh, which it's a good segue to YouTube goals and updates uh, 2023 was a great a great year for me with YouTube I made I don't know, like over 50 videos for sure, I think. Actually, maybe not. Maybe around a video a week or more. Uh, my favorite video to make has definitely has to be the April Fool's video where I tricked a bunch of people into me hating trucking. Uh, that one and the video that I did for Christmas going, on, going camping. Uh, those are the videos that I enjoy making the most. And... Uh, you know, I, I, I crack myself up making my videos or messing with people while engaging, being informative, being positive. Um, so uh, that has been great. So, like, like it's not a business, you know. I do YouTube because I like making YouTube videos. I like getting nice drone shots and sharing that or going camping and sharing that, taking people along for the ride sharing the positive stuff that trucking has provided for me. Like, if I didn't love it, if I didn't love doing those things, like sharing, editing, editing videos, being creative in that way, like, I wouldn't be doing it. There's a hundred more things, a hundred other things that I would rather do. I would rather be back there uh, watching, uh, watching so many movies that I want to watch or playing so many video games that I'd rather watch, or even reading a book, which I don't do nearly as much as I would like, uh, before uh, just doing videos as w 
with the intention of making money. Um, I, I do love it. And, you know, I appreciate the... Every, I, I, I've mentioned this before. I appreciate everybody that watches my videos. I appreciate um, the friendships that I've developed from YouTube. Uh, you know, Jeff, if you're watching, I, you know, or Tim. Uh, those are the two that I, that I appreciate the most. Like I share, I share when I meet people on the road. It still shocks me that there's people that watch my videos. And if uh, people don't watch my videos, I'm still gonna make them because I like to make them. But with that being said, there is also other things that I like to do. Again, I like watching movies, I like watch, uh, uh, playing video games, I like reading, I like playing guitar. Uh, and sometimes trying to stay consistent with YouTube gets in the way of those other things. Uh, if you think about it, I've spent half an hour just sitting here right now. That could be used for cooking. Um, and that, again, it's also a testament of the fact that I love making the videos. Um, um, but going forward, I'm going to try to stay as consistent as I can with my videos. But I am not letting my lack of consistency or like affect me mentally, if that makes sense. Like, I just feel like the pressure that I want to stay consistent because... I'm trying to satisfy some of the people, some some of you guys that that ask for the content, you know. And I and I do want to make the content, but I also want to do other things. So uh, I'm still trying to find that balance, um, and I will continue to try to satisfy that consistency, if that makes any sense. I don't know. And I'm gonna leave it at that. It's 30 minutes, so. And I still got to edit this video. So, <laughs> um, If you made it to this part of the video, just like with any of my other videos, I want to thank you very much for watching. I appreciate anyone that finds me remotely interesting. And I will continue to uh, make videos. I have a couple of videos coming up that I want to make for sure. Uh, one, talking about all the time off that I took in 2023 versus the money that I made, even with all the time off that I took. That's going to be a separate video. I want to make a video where I compare uh, OTR versus local or regional jobs because I did wage the financial aspect to, to see if it made sense. And in my opinion, it doesn't. And I will talk about that. You're free to have your opinion about what I'm going to talk about when I make that video. Uh, and there's a couple more uh, that I just can't think about right now. As I was driving, I come up with topics and I just, they come and go as I drive. Sadly, again, being in this driver's seat, I get to think a lot, but I don't get to stop and write things down as much as I would like to. So, so that's that. Um, and I mean, that was my 2023 and those are my goals for 2024. You can always go back to my videos and, you know, uh, be in the moment. I want to thank everybody for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.